Have you tried the little blue pill and it's just not working? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna explain the top reasons that your medication may not be helping you get the erections that you should be getting. If you're new here, I make urologic content every week, including sexual health, bladder health, and so much more. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends. So first of all, when do you take it? One of the common misconceptions is that once you take the medication, it's ready to go. And in fact, you need to take the medication anywhere between 30 to 60 minutes before sexual activity. And it requires some degree of stimulation for it to work. So a lot of people will even avoid taking it so they know they want to have sex after dinner because they're worried they might get an erection. It's not meant to give you an erection on its own. It's meant to sustain and promote an erection when you get a stimulus for an erection. For example, if you feel stimulated from touch or visual aspects, then yes, you could get an erection, but that's the point. You want to be stimulated in order to get an erection. So also it varies depending on the medication you're taking. Certain medications, particularly sildenafil, avanafil, and verdenafil all should be taken on an empty stomach because when you have food in your stomach, it delays or prevents the absorption of the medication. In which case, after you take the medication, it's certainly not going to work because you have less of it in the system, but you could still get the side effects associated with it. So many people will then do that and then give up and say these medications are not working. Also, if you are taking a low dose of daily tadalafil to help with erectile dysfunction, when you start it, it's not going to work right away. It's going to take take about a month before all that medication builds up in the system that you can start having erections again. So at least try it for a full month before giving up. And lastly, this medication is not going to override all the other issues that might be going on. So if you're having issues with your partner that are making things a bit more challenging, those things can still inhibit your ability to get an erection. Also, if you're drinking a lot of alcohol, whiskey dick is real. So if you drink a lot of alcohol, it acts as a central nervous system depressant, which means that it will be much more difficult to obtain an erection because all the connections that help your brain and your motor function all work together are a little bit slowed. And some of you may have heard of the lozenges or the rapidly dissolving tablets that you can take versus taking the regular pills. Is there any difference? Well, when they've looked at studies regarding these rapidly dissolving troches, they've seen that the response is a little bit quicker. In fact, as quickly as 15 to 30 minutes, people are seeing a response. Also, the real benefit is that you can take it discreetly. You don't need a glass of water. It just dissolves in your mouth and that makes it a little bit easier to take. However, as far as clinical efficacy, they haven't seen a major difference compared to the lozenges versus the tablets. And ultimately, the lozenges are usually a bit more expensive because they're made from compounding pharmacies, whereas the tablets you can get covered by medical insurance if you have it. You can also use coupons or online pharmacies that can help you get these medications significantly cheaper. Let's talk about the specific medications. Now I've talked about sildenafil versus tadalafil before, so make sure you check out that video. But briefly, sildenafil is the oldest medication and the most researched. You want to take it one to two hours before sex and the efficacy lasts for four to six hours. Tadalafil or Cialis was the next medication. This one actually has an onset of action that can range up to 36 hours, which means that if you take it, you could still have the benefit of the medication a couple days later. So a lot of people People like to take it on a Friday and have the effect last for the weekend. Now that doesn't mean you're going to be getting erections all weekend long. It's only if you're stimulated, then you could have erections more easily than if you didn't take the medication. So verdenafil has the shortest onset of action compared to any of the other medications. In studies, they've seen a reported onset as early as 10 minutes. However, again, it's recommended to take it 30 to 60 minutes before intercourse. It's usually very well tolerated and it can last up to five to seven hours. You do want to avoid it if you're taking anything that can affect the rhythm of your heart because there is a side effect that's unique to this medication which causes QT prolongation. And Avanafil is another rapidly dissolving medication in your mouth that can have a quicker onset of action. Again, all of these medications are pretty equally effective and there will still be some people who don't respond. When we look at the data, 60 to 70 percent of people will have response to these medications, but 30 to 40 percent won't. And so if you're in this category, you're not alone. 
own. It just means that you may need to try other things to help with your erections. And also half of people who start using these medications will stop having response two to three years later. And so again, this is not a unique thing. These medications do have a failure rate. And if you're sure you're taking everything correctly, then really it may just be that you need to see your urologist and talk about other available options. And if you're curious what those are, I've talked about these options for treatment of erectile dysfunction across many different videos. So make sure you check out my video on erectile dysfunction, vacuum erection devices, penile implants, and more. A couple cautions when taking these medications. If you're taking anything with nitrates that has nitroglycerin that you put under the tongue for chest pain or discomfort, then you cannot take this medication. Also, if you're taking what we call alpha blockers, something like tamsulosin or Flomax for difficulty urinating, you want to separate these two medications by six hours. Otherwise, it's usually typically safe for the majority of people to take. If you have kidney or liver dysfunction, you may have to have the dosing changed. So again, talk to your urologist or your primary care doctor. And if you're struggling with erections, please discuss it with your doctor because erectile dysfunction is a canary in a coal mine. What that means is that if you're having troubles with erections, it may mean that the arteries to the penis are having problems, in which case that could mean that it's the first sign of any vascular or heart disease that you should be screened for. So you should get your blood pressure checked, your cholesterol checked, and your blood sugar checked to make sure there's no sign of diabetes. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, and we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.